Databases not only allow easy access to large amount of information, but also provide data for training machine learning methods and for mining genome-wide statistical patterns. Most of the databases of genetic variations were created in the past three decades. In 1998, NCBI established the DBSNP as a central repository of single nucleotide variations and other small genetic variations identified in our species. In 2010, NCBI established DBVAR to store large-scale genomic variations. In 2012, the 1000 Genome Project released the first batch of genome and exome sequences of over 1,000 healthy individuals from all over the world. On the other hand, many databases have been created for disease-associated genes and mutations. A good example is OMIMP, which is a well-annotated database of human diseases and associated genes. If you want to find the exact mutations that are associated with diseases, the Human Gene Mutation Database HGMD, created in 1996, is a great choice. In 2007, LSDB, the locus specific databases, were created to organize mutations and polymorphisms around each locus. Two additional databases, DBGAP and ClinVar, contain genes and variations discovered by genome-wide association studies or GWAS and next-generation sequencing to either cause diseases or increase disease risks. Finally, in 2004, Cosmic Database was created to contain somatic mutations discovered in tumors. Now, let's look at some of these databases in greater detail. DBSNP was created in September 1998 by NCBI, the National Center for Biotechnology Information in the U.S. In collaboration with NHGRI, the National Human Genome Research Institute. As a central repository, DBSNP contains most of the human genetic variations identified so far in both healthy and sick individuals. As this figure shows, the amount of data of DBSNP has been increasing rapidly over the years. Each record in DBSNP contains lots of useful information about the variation. For instance, this record is about a single nucleotide variation in the homeostatic iron regulator gene. The ancestral allele is adenine, which is usually determined by comparison with our closely related primates. A small part of human population acquired varying thymine. The frequency of the minor allele thymine is about 0.8 to 1 percent. You can click any panel on the left to find additional useful information about this variation, such as flanking sequences and minor allele frequencies in different human subpopulations. You can also find the clinical significance of this variant. OMIMP or Online Mendelian Inheritance in Man is a database of all human diseases known to have a genetic component and their casual or risk genes. It was initially created in 1966 by Dr. Victor Mikusik as a catalog of Mendelian traits and disorders in the form of a book named Mendelian Inheritance in Man, or MIM. Two book editions of MIM were published. As the data grows larger and larger and the book grows thicker and thicker, an online version, OMIMP, was created in 1985 and made publicly available two years later. The purple bars in this figure show the number of genetic disorders with known molecular basis. The orange bars show a number of MAP disorders caused by genetic mutations. OMIMP now includes not only single gene Mendelian disorders, but also complex diseases with susceptibility genes and some somatic cell genetic diseases. There are two main types of records in OMIMP. The first type of records focused on genetic disorders. For example, this record of breast cancer describes the clinical features, diagnosis, and treatment of breast cancer. The inheritance model of different types of breast cancers, the genes and mutations discovered so far, and other useful information such as animal models. The second type of records focused on genes that had been associated with certain genetic diseases. For example, this record on BRCA1 shows its cytogenetic location, genomic coordinates, gene structure, gene function, and evolution. More importantly, it shows how BRCA1 was discovered to be associated with several types of cancer. The families and patients studied and the mutations that are identified and the genotype-phenotype correlations. OMIMP is a beautiful resource for gene disease associations.